All right, fam, you're gonna wanna hear this one. A couple days ago, a soldier with the highest security clearance sent me a message on my TikTok. In his message, he would state that he might know why Biden left Afghanistan the way he did. Intrigued, I said, please explain. He disclosed that he had top secret security clearance and that it was his second tour in Afghanistan. He was a radio technician and he would fix the broken comms soldiers would bring back to the FOB or the forward operating base. While in the Middle East, he would work with the best spec ops teams in the military. From MARSOC, which is US Marine Corps Special Forces, to the SEALs, the Rangers, and the British Marines. And about seven months ago is when he got back from his last tour. It was around the time that Biden first took office, and the same time when something would take place that made US forces decide it wasn't worth being there. And here is why, viewer discretion advised. He was nearing the end of his tour when one of his SEAL buddies brought back a bunch of broken radios. After a mission where his team would take on 60% casualties, which was highly unusual in Afghanistan at this time. And they had been sent out on a patrol in the surrounding hills and mountains. They were in the Kandahar region of Afghanistan. Officially, his buddy would tell him they got attacked by a platoon-sized element of the Taliban. But for some reason, he could sense that he wasn't hearing the entirety of the story. While well, lucky for our technician, he had recently snuck booze into the wire and he would end up getting drunk with the SEAL team member for six nights straight. When on the very last night of drinking together, the SEAL team member, out of the blue, would say you can't tell anybody about this. And the shit he's about to say should never be repeated. Our whistleblower would explain that the SEAL team member wouldn't go into gritty detail. He assumed it was either because he hadn't processed it yet, or someone forcibly told him not to tell a soul. During the mission, we would come up on a cave that was supposed to be a hostile outpost. But as they approached the outpost in the cave, they suddenly heard screaming inside. They then proceeded to a vantage point where they could get a better view out of sight of any enemy combatants. And when they finally got in position and glanced down into the cave, they couldn't believe their eyes. It was a giant standing anywhere from 16 to 20 feet tall fighting the Taliban. He was crushing them limb from limb tossing them around like rag dolls, killing one after another after another. The men were in shock. They couldn't believe what they were witnessing. They would watch for about 30 seconds and then decide it would be smart to take a tactical withdrawal. But as they were backing up, the giant would spot one of them. And with swift speed, he would pursue and be on top of them in seconds. He would engage and kill three of them immediately. So quickly, one of them called air support from an A-10. By the time the bombs buried the beast, he killed eight SEALs and corpsmen. Wounding too, but they survived. They were told to keep quiet because of backlash. Shortly after this incident, we would decide to make a hasty withdrawal. This would be the second time U.S. soldiers would battle a giant from Kandahar.